the International is coming. The world's best Dota 2 teams fighting for their chance to be forever remembered as the greatest players of all time. Each team and player bringing with them a unique story to share. This is the International Lowdown, and this is the story of Vici Gaming. The mad scientists of Dota, Vici Gaming is a team that has always been experimenting and whose true strength lies in their unpredictability. Probably because the team itself began as a volatile experiment. The original idea behind Vici Gaming was to jumpstart the meta in the Chinese scene. Rather than form a team of seasoned pros and only one or two newcomers, what if a team was formed of all high-ranking pub players? but with the money and the dependability of an organization behind them. Thus was the birth of the first Vici Gaming. And while the roster has changed significantly, the core idea is still the same. Experimentation, innovation, but most importantly, decimation. Runners up at TI4, they pioneered the Death Ball meta, destroying their opponents in lightning fast 12 to 18 minute matches. Just another one of their terrifying experiments. But times may have changed. And in the run-up to last year's TI, it was their darkest hour. Forgotten and neglected, Vici Gaming was merely a shadow of its former self. The time had come for a brand new experiment. ROTK moved from player to coach and just one original player remained on the roster keeping some constants with a mix of old favorites, but adding new variables of new blood and a DAC 101 champion, Beachy Gaming was reborn on the DPC and brewed themselves quite the dangerous concoction. With four second place finishes on the Dota Pro Circuit, this roster has rebuilt the faith, earning themselves one of the coveted direct invites to the International Eight. Paparazzi is the greatest 1v1 player to have ever lived. During the 1v1 tournament in DAC, we saw him take out the world's best mids in a lane. The kid doesn't even play. Now, let me explain why this is a big deal. You see, in Dota 2, the 1v1, it's an honor duel that demonstrates a player's true skill. There are no ganks, no smokes, no teammates to help you out, just pure raw skill. Making a name for himself as a 1v1 god in his pubs, Paparazzi took out the world's best without breaking a sweat. And as a carry for Vici Gaming, he is just as lethal. There is no other carry in Dota 2 as terrifying to face alone. And if you're gonna come and gank Big Papa, you best bring the whole squad. The only survivor of the old Vici Gaming roster, Ori joined in early 2017, but his arrival in VG was not the uh, big break that he had been hoping for. Nope, that would not come until his entire squad completely disbanded. But Ori stood his ground, deciding to stay and see where the road would lead him. A highly skilled but seldom talked about player, Ori rose to the top of the MMR charts in China, at one point holding the second best position in the entire world. A truly mysterious character, we don't know much about Ori yet. But what we do know is that even the most seasoned mids in the world are learning to fear him. Eleven is currently hailed as one of the best offlaners to come out of China in recent years and made a big name for himself on Team eHome. Originally a rookie on his home squad, when the most famous player on the squad left eHome, ROTK, many expected that the squad would implode. But Eleven's sheer will and ferocity held that squad together. So much so that the team actually improved after their most accomplished player had left. The savior of eHome and now one of the most notable off laners in the world, Eleven makes his mark in every game he plays. Eleven is such an incredible ganker, he's ganking the team itself. Not even officially on the squad, but instead on loan from team eHome. Now that is uh, some next dimensional gank potential. Part of the oldest support duo in Dota, the 28-year-old Lanham has been around for a very long time. Part of the now legendary Team DK roster, which is widely regarded as Dota 2's first ever super team, Lanham once said that he was not at his peak in Team DK, and that it was actually in the years that followed where he felt most confident 
in his abilities. Humble in the pursuit of greatness and still very young at heart, Lanham remains one of the greatest support players in all of China's history. The fact that he's still at the top of his game at 28 years old, where many of his former teammates have all but retired, is quite impressive. But the oldest pro player of the eight direct invites this year is the 29-year-old Fenrir. A Vici gaming legend, this guy has seen it all, with over 1,000 games for VG. He's one of the most loyal players in the entire history of Dota. Only four other active players have played over a thousand matches for a single team. And Fenrir, he's got the highest win rate out of all of them, boasting an incredible 63% win rate. With that loyalty comes experience. And as the captain of Vici Gaming's roster headed to TI8, Fenrir is Vici Gaming. One of the most important players in the Chinese scene and a TI4 runner up, Fenrir commands respect. To do so well for so long is truly remarkable. His knowledge may be ancient, but his skills are as fresh as the first year that he started. Fenrir is the heart and soul of Vici. So that, in short, is Vici Gaming, a squad born by experimentation, never losing their drive to innovate. While the org did see hard times after their near success at TI4, they have come back in the last year to be better than they ever were before. We have seen Vici compete in their fair share of DPC finals this season, but this is their chance to get the first place win they've been working towards, the win that matters the most, the win at the International League.